Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. So as I have been posting previously, Microsoft started rolling out the Moment 3 update for Windows 11 22H2 um, at the end of May. So depending on your region, you would have received the third wave of new features on the 24th, 25th of May. And the update was KB5026446, which actually at its heart and core is a bug fix update. But if you have this toggle turned on, as many of you will know by now, and as I've mentioned previously, get the latest updates as soon as they are available, then it would install this configuration package. So if we just head to other updates, it would then install the Windows configuration update that would include the third wave of new features, which is the configuration update that actually brings the third wave of new features to Windows 11. And if you didn't install this optional update, then as I've posted previously, um, the features for most would start rolling out with the June Patch Tuesday security update, which was a mandatory compulsory update, which rolled out earlier this month, around about the 13th, 14th of June, KB5027231. If, as mentioned, you had this toggle enabled and turned on. Now, in a couple of days, as I have been posting, we are expecting to get our next optional updates rolling out for Windows 10 and Windows 11, which um, I would suggest would start rolling out sometime next week into next month, which for Windows 11 users, if you haven't received the Moment 3 features yet, um, that update will bring um, most of the Moment 3 features to your Windows 11 22H2 operating system. If, as mentioned, you have this toggle turned on. Now, this could all be set to change. Because by the time we get to the Patch Tuesday update for Windows 11 for July, so if we head back to the calendar, just to put this all into context and perspective, the Patch Tuesday update for Windows for July will be the second Tuesday, which they normally roll out on, which will be the 11th of July 2023. And by that time, um, the Moment 3 update will become a compulsory mandatory update. So Microsoft will start pushing that out and forcing that onto Windows 11 22H2, even if you do not have this toggle turned on. So even if you have this turned off, do not receive the new features, Microsoft will make those Moment 3 features mandatory. And uh, um, I have posted a whole video on the Moment 3 feature update, what you can expect, um, kind of how it works, all the new features, and I'll leave a link down below to that video as we go quite in depth into all the new features if you would like more information. So just letting you know that with J Windows 11's July 2023 Patch Tuesday update, you don't need to enable this optional toggle um, to get the Moment 3 features rolling out, and those will become mandatory and compulsory by the Patch Tuesday update rolling out in July, which means um, Microsoft now is already starting to test um, that toggle um, for the next um, feature update, um, which will be the major feature update and the only version upgrade for Windows 11 that will be rolling out this year, Windows 11 version 23H2. And if you want more information on um, Windows 11 version 23H2, the feature update, and what to expect, um, I'll also leave a link down below to a video I did post, which gives you a lot more information, which Microsoft has already confirmed that update, Windows 11 version 23H2. So go check that video out. But nonetheless, just letting you know that by the time we get to July, uh, you won't need to have this toggled on to receive the Moment 3 features and the feature update. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.